All right, everybody. It's going to be a photography weekend here, so I'm going to document it for you. Heading down to Helen, Georgia, to the Corvair Spring Fest. That's down there. I'm in inside my 65 500, and uh, we'll, hopefully it makes it down there. It's about a four, four and a half hour trip down there. So uh, once I get down there, lots of great things to photograph around Helen. Plus, we'll do the autocross, and you'll see some highlights from that. downtown Helen, Georgia. It's nighttime. It's maybe 30 minutes after sunset, something like that. So we're going to do some nighttime photography here. I've got my camera set up at uh, F8 and ISO 400. So I've got it set on the tripod. Uh, still kind of a short enough exposure. I really don't need the remote for it or anything like that. So just uh, take a test shot here. And you can see the one was coming up with there. So I want to pan around here. Show you the rest of the street. See, it's uh, being a Thursday night. It's kind of quiet downtown. Friday nights, Saturday nights get uh, pretty lively down here. So I'm taking advantage of it being a Thursday night. It's lower here. cool things about Helen's I got these neat little alleyways down here so I'm gonna pan around See this alleyway here so I'm gonna take a picture of this I've uh, changed my ISO back down to 200 still left at f8 so it's a little brighter than before pop up there neat little shot here um, as you see the whole town most of the whole town is lined lined with lights a few of them that are out here and there, but uh, majority of this is lined here. So I'm going to go on down and go to the uh, go to the river. Chattahoochee River runs right through it, so uh, we're right down here, uh, right underneath the bridge for Highway 17. So as I'm pan around here, as you see, there's Chattahoochee got a restaurant across the way. Uh, but I'm going to take some nice time lapse here. Get the water moving. So, and I forgot to mention, I am using a uh, size lens as this. I think it's my 18 to 18 to something. Hang on, forgot, forgot which lens I had on here. No, it's my 10 to 20 millimeter lens I got on. So, if we line up another shot, and I gotta watch out, there's this bush right here. So, the first shot I got, that bush was in that shot, so I had to adjust the camera around a little bit. And also, if you're not careful, you got some lights on the walkway there, so you gotta kinda keep the lights, but on the picture, you can see the lights, shade. I got it on this part here, and then this arch here doesn't have the same lighting on it. So it's a little tricky down here. Found another good angle here. <clears throat> Let me turn around. You got these two bridges here, and then these cars come down. But what I found out is, if you wait for a car, this is about about right where that one is now. And if they're going fast enough, now I've got the ISO down as far as it can go, and then uh, maybe F8. Let's see here. He's going a little too slow there. But uh, if the car is going fast enough, you can get some good light trails, and it'll it'll light up the bridge as well. This one's going a little faster. Yeah, 
about the whole length of it there, so. There it is. Just another way to do it. So if you're doing street photography like this at nighttime, just wander around a little bit and and uh, take different shots at different places. You know, I don't think the heavy stuff's gonna come down for quite some time now. Okay, so there you have a quick video on street photography for Helen, Georgia, nighttime and in the rain. Got a little bonus in there. Uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and watch for more videos.